Welcome to the homework for first grade, module one, lesson three. Write your name first. Don't forget it. Our first, we're working on making uh, one more. One more, and there are some parts of this that are a little tricky, but as long as you pay close attention to what, you, to what you're reading, uh, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too hard, and just, you can go ahead and use uh, use this video to check that uh, you read carefully. Uh, and I'll show you the tricks as they come up. So our first one it's all about how many objects you see, how many objects do you see in the pictures, then draw one more, have to draw one more, and then answer how many objects are there now. And we're going to look at some number sentences some addition number sentences, they don't always go left to right. We're used to seeing, uh, um, thinking of a number, uh, addition sentence as something, some number plus some other number equals the total. But you can also write them backwards, and you have to pay attention to where the equal sign is and where the, the, the addition symbol is, where the plus sign is, and uh, make sure you're putting the right numbers in the right places because uh, it can really make a difference. It matters. So here we have uh, our first first problem, one more than nine. So now we have our items in five group rows. So that's there's five here, and then there's four more. And you can look at this. You might, if you know that this is like supposed to be like look like a ten frame, you can see it's it's ten with one missing. Right. So I'm going to draw one more here. One more than nine is well, ten is one more than nine, right? because it's one more, it's one larger. It's the number that comes next when you're counting. Uh, so then we have the nine that they drew for us, plus the one we added. Now there's 10 of them. And the number bond, 10 is our total. And our parts, our add-ends here are nine and one. Nine and one. Number two, here we have five and two more, which is seven. That's what we start off with. And we're, okay, we're going to draw one more. So here's our star. Now, mm -hmm. doesn't have to be a perfect star. I, I have a hard time with these, but it's just kind of close enough. Uh, so there's seven. So what's one more than seven? And now we have what we have five, six, seven, eight. So eight is one more than seven. And now this is one of those backwards addition sentences that I'm talking about. You notice the equal sign comes before the plus sign this time. Eight. So now we're reading eight equals seven plus one. It's not 8 plus 7 equals 1. That wouldn't make sense. You can't have 8 and add 7 more and have only 1, right? It's, but we've got to pay attention. This is one of those times you just got to be careful. It's not always left to right with the plus sign first and the equal sign after. Sometimes the total can go first. And we're looking at our number bond. Our two add-ends, we had 7 and we added one more and 8 was our total. Now we're looking at triangles, and here again we have, look at that, we have another one of those sort of backwards addition sentences where we have the total first, the total equals the two add-ins. We have five, right, there's our five, and we need one more, uh, uh, uh. and that's six, so we, six is one more than five, right, because it's five, six is the next number. And 6 is equal to 5 plus 1. 6 is equal to 5 plus 1. And now we have something a little bit more. We still have this picture here. We have 5, 6, 7, 8. Or you might see a 10 frame with 2 missing. Right, there would be one here and one there, and you might think of eight as being 
that's eight because it's ten with two without two, with two missing. So I'm going to draw my one more. I'm not going to be too fancy about this. My math pictures tend to be pretty simple. So one more than eight, and you can tell now that there are nine because now there's just one missing from the ten frame. One more than eight is nine. And now we're looking at something we're going to add to one. Right, we started with, there's our one of our add-ins here, the one that we added. And we started with eight. So that's eight plus one. We have our add-ins, and now our total is nine. Eight plus one equals nine. And so nine is our total, and our add-ins are eight and one. And add-ins are just numbers that you add. Number five, we're on the second page now. Imagine adding one more pencil to the picture. So I'm not going to draw the pencil this time. I'm just going to imagine there's one more. So, and then I'm going to write the numbers in um, just to match how many pencils that there will be. So here's one more than five. So there's, we have one, two, three, four, five pencils. And if I had one more than one, two, three, four, five, there would be six. One more than five is six which is the same as saying that 5 plus 1 equals 6. Our total is 6, and our add-ins are 5 and 1. And then we'll go up here to our last one, number 6. Imagine adding one more flower to the picture. And then write the numbers to match how many flowers there will be. So here we have a five group, right? You don't have to circle that, but I like to circle my five groups just to see, just to recognize that it's a unit of five. That's five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight, right? And we're going to imagine there's one more. And that would be, if, if there's one more, then there would be, wouldn't be eight anymore, there would be nine. So nine is one more than eight. And if we're going to write that as an addition sentence, our add-ins are going to be, there's the one more, the plus one. Right? And we had the eight to start with, and then the plus one is the one more, and then the total would be nine. And so then our total is nine, and our add-ins are eight and one.